What's up guys? It's Kelly and we're gonna start another vlog today because it's been a really long time since I've done one and actually a lot has changed since the last time I did a vlog and I've spent the last few weeks kind of trying to adjust to all the changes and everything that's going on right now but figured I may as well just do a little little vlog and show you guys a little insight into what my life is right now because I've been finding a lot of comfort in watching people's vlogs so I figured maybe you guys would too. But yeah so I'm actually about to jump into a meeting. I got invited to some like virtual event thing. I'll show you guys a little snippet once I'm in there but yeah I have my full like glam on because I just filmed a video. But yeah so let me jump into that meeting because it's actually starting right now and then we'll talk more and I'll kind of take you along for the next few days slash maybe a week and we can just kind of live life together. See what happens. Okay, so I just left that meeting just a tiny bit early because it was really long. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's cool that brands are trying to give us all a sense of normalcy right now. I don't know about you guys, but I've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings with friends lately, especially to play those games that they have on there. So that's been fun. But yeah, so I just wanted to, I don't know, let me get in a brighter area over here. But yeah, just to ignore the mess right now that everything is, my whole life is a mess. I'm sure everybody's life is a mess. But yeah, this has been totally crazy and very much life altering. Trying to do my best to just, you know, stay busy and do what I can. Obviously cleaning is not part of that. But yeah, but I've been filming tons of videos so just trying to kind of give myself a sense of normalcy right now. I figured I could do a little vlog and you guys remember I have that wall over there that I was going to put those posters on. I still haven't done that so I'm going to be doing that eventually. And then, I don't know, we could just hang out and stuff and I can show you a little bit of what my life in quarantine is like. I actually have been pretty sick. I haven't gone to get tested or anything because I don't really see a point to be honest. I'm self-quarantining so I'd rather just stay home and stay safe and not endanger anybody else. So I'm just doing that but I did have a virtual appointment with the doctor today so I'm getting some antibiotics delivered to me to take care of some resulting ear and throat infections that I've gotten from this because it's been super fun. It's been mild and I'm very fortunate that I'm not you know one of the people who's suffering greatly from this. Just just trying, you know, to stay hydrated, stay relaxed and not do anything crazy. But yeah, so I mean, it's just been overwhelming. I'm sure it's been overwhelming for everybody and it's been hard, you know, not having our jobs and whatnot to rely on and not really being sure what's gonna happen in terms of money. So I'm probably going to do, I think I'm gonna actually film an ASMR video. It's been a while since I've done one. I've like not been in the ASMR mindset. I've been 100% stressed and today is probably the first day after a virtual therapy and a virtual doctor's appointment. I'm finally feeling a little bit calmer, like I can actually function as normal. So I am going to, I think, film a little ASMR video for my ASMR our channel and then we can hang out a little bit more. So in terms of food, we've been eating pretty much like beans and rice and pasta every night because that's what we have and we don't want to go grocery shopping. I did also order a produce subscription box that just gets dropped off at the door so that I can get some fresh fruit and vegetables and not have to worry about going to the store and potentially infecting anybody. Maybe I'll show you guys. I think I want to make, I have quinoa. I made my own veggie stock out of scraps, which I, I'm very excited about. I think I'm going to cook the quinoa in the veggie scrap stock. And then I have some canned tomatoes and frozen corn and maybe even some beans and I'm just going to throw it all together and it's going to be my little southwestern quinoa thing. So I'm going to give that a shot. But yeah, let me film my video and then I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day. I feel like I'm already so low energy right now and I know you guys are gonna be like why are you so low energy right now i'm sick <laughs> so i gotta reserve all of my energy for my videos but other than that i am i'm just i'm low energy right now i'm just trying to relax so yeah anyway now that i've gotten five disclaimers out of the way i'm gonna film my asmr video and then i'll get back to you guys all right asmr video filmed lashes off now it's like early evening so probably just going to chill for a little bit maybe do some reading and then i'll take you guys along so you can join us for dinner Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play a little bit of Skyrim because I just started playing it and that game is so good. So let's let's do that instead. Smoothest horse in the game. <laughs> Good 
morning guys it's the next day and i just woke up so my voice is all low and scratchy as it tends to be so i was gonna film today because i've been wanting to do another one of those like time lapse videos where i organize all of my polishes because right now they are still not in order but first of all i'm just feeling very low energy right now and Second of all, I realized I don't have enough space on any of my SD cards because I've been filming a lot of content. So I think I'm just going to edit a bunch of videos today and then maybe get some cleaning and stuff done. Last night we ended up just eating our delicious quinoa and beans and watching TV and then I read for a little while. So I'm about to make some chia pudding that I put in the fridge last night and have that for breakfast. Alrighty, so here's my chia pudding. If you guys haven't heard of chia pudding, it's basically when you like take chia seeds and you soak them in milk overnight. I used soy milk and um, it's like a little lumpy. I've actually never used soy milk before. This is, believe it or not, the first time I've ever tried soy milk and it was the last non-dairy milk that they had left at the store when we were picking up supplies. So I grabbed it and I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, thinner than usual. It's been in there for like 10 hours though. so. I guess this is as good as it's gonna get. All right, so here's my very fancy breakfast. I microwaved some frozen berries and I chopped up some almonds and I added some honey. Who says you can't have fancy breakfast during quarantine? All right, now that I've had a nutritious and delicious breakfast, I'm sitting in my chair where I edit my videos, got my computer, I'm all set to go. So I'm probably just gonna be sitting here for a while. So I'll see you guys when I have an update. <laughs> I totally forgot to show you guys that I just baked these vegan cookies from a recipe that I found on Instagram. It's literally just four ingredients. It was applesauce, peanut butter, which I used almond butter, chocolate chips, and brown sugar. I happen to have all those ingredients, so I made these. I haven't tried them yet. Bottoms look slightly burnt, but I don't really care because they smell really good. So yeah, I have literally spent the entire day so far editing. I edited a really long ASMR video, the one I filmed yesterday. And then I actually also edited a video that I filmed yesterday, which I think I'm going to put up on Friday. Now I'm going to spend the rest of the day editing. So I don't know how much more I'm going to be vlogging today, but we do also have some frozen chicken, which we remembered that we had, and we're thawing that right now. So we're probably going to have chicken for dinner, which is going to be such a treat. But yeah, so that's kind of how my day is going. It's quite, quite boring. So I don't really know why I vlogged. I guess I just wanted to have some comfort in talking to you guys because I think it's been just really overwhelming lately with everything going on. Even though things haven't necessarily changed with my channel and I'm still able to engage with you guys and stuff, it feels like, I don't know, I, I feel like we're not really as connected as we usually are. I, I know that sounds so dumb, but I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that's what we're vlogging. And I know at some point I have to hang up those posters, but I'm really dreading doing that. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Just because I do not feel like taping stuff up and having it fall on me because I don't have anything besides regular scotch tape and I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be. But anyway, those cookies smell really good. So hopefully they'll be done soon. Let me check. Okay, quick update in case anybody cares about this. I just tried the cookies and somehow they are sour. I don't know how. I don't know what I did wrong, but this just confirms my belief that I'm terrible at baking no matter what. I thought that would be a foolproof recipe and I failed. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat them because they're still kind of good in like a sour way. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to vlog all day. <laughs> it's the next day right now and I totally forgot to vlog the entire day and I even did a live video with you guys today and I totally forgot to vlog it, no big deal. Um, so we're currently cooking a little bit of dinner. Today we're treating ourselves with some very fancy tuna fish. And also we're making homemade pita bread for it because we don't have anything like that. We don't have any sort of bread materials. So um, yeah, that's what we've been doing all day. And I'm so out of breath today. Oh my gosh, in my live video, I had a coughing fit for like two minutes and it was very embarrassing. But yeah, so now my throat kind of hurts just from talking for like an hour. And then I did a little Zoom meeting with my family, which was fun. But yeah, now we're just making dinner. I'll show you guys. Here are our pita slash tortillas so far. Got a little on. You're allowed to be in it. <laughs> we made a little bit of a mess. It's no big deal. That's Ryan. He's not imaginary. He does exist. Wow. Fantastic job. 
Fantastic. We got some over here. They're all different shapes and sizes. It's fine. But yeah, so then we're gonna, we got some canned tuna fish. We got some mayonnaise. We have some chili sauce. And I think we're just gonna throw it all together and have tuna melts without the cheese. It's just gonna be tuna on a sort of tortilla. And that's it. So that's kind of been the whole day. Well, no, the whole day has been working. Working on video stuff and then the live video and all that stuff. Catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. We're just gonna watch The Office and read and sleep. And then that's gonna be the whole day. So <laughs> this is probably the last you're gonna see me today. I'm so good at vlogging. What's up guys? Good morning, hello, it's another day. We survived yet again. I just had breakfast and it was actually delicious. I had an egg. We still have some eggs left. I'm trying to save them. I do have some relatively exciting stuff to do today. I wanted to do a video to organize all of my nail polishes. So I have, how many is this? 24. So I have 24 drawers of nail polish and all of them are pretty much full and I have all of the polishes organized in which drawers I want them to be in, but I don't have them organized like in the order I like, which is generally some sort of rainbow order. So I wanted to start that project today to sort of get them in order and then I was gonna film it like in a big time lapse for YouTube. So I think that'll be fun. And then I actually have a delivery of produce coming today, which I've been very excited about. Obviously because I am sick, we haven't been able to go to the grocery store and we do have food and I'm very fortunate and thankful that we do have food to eat, but I feel like I am missing out on some nutrition because we don't always have vegetables. <laughs> so, and I actually, I really love eating vegetables. So, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here a little bit before I get started with the day and just chat with you guys because last night I was feeling really sad. I've been feeling really down about, I mean, it's been up and down. I'm trying to keep myself distracted, but sometimes I just, I think about everything and I just get so overwhelmed. And I know I'm very fortunate in this situation. You know, if I do have this virus, it's very mild. And, you know, I have a place to live and I have food to eat and fortunate in that respect. But I do think it's hard. I mean, one being just because I don't get to do the things that I'm used to that make me happy, which I know sounds so dumb, but you know, just doing things like going to the library and, you know, getting a cup of coffee at Dunkin' or like these things that like bring me joy in life and I, I'm not able to do those things and I don't know how long it's gonna be until I can do those things again. And then just the financial instability of everything and I'm sure you, a lot of you guys are in the same situation, you know, being laid off and not really knowing what's gonna happen in the future. And I think that's been pretty hard on me, especially with having a YouTube, I'm not eligible for <laughs> any sort of financial stability. I don't really want to get into it, but yeah, it's it's tough right now. <laughs> I know there's this sort of mindset that a lot of people have right now that it's like anybody who's on YouTube is doing totally fine. That's not always the case. And that's not the case for those of us who rely on other things, especially smaller, relatively smaller channels like mine. Someone's car's going off. I mean, I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful, I'm very fortunate, and it's, it's amazing that I even have YouTube right now that I can have for some amount of living. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I don't wanna get too much into it, like I said, but just so you guys know, you're, you're not alone in the feelings that you feel, and I know that I'm, you know, trying my best to put on a happy face and bring you guys the sort of content that brings you relief, and I know this is kind of a downer right now, <laughs> but I do also, love being able to be open and honest with you guys and it's nice that I can share with you my feelings and know that you guys will understand what I'm going through too. So I don't know, it's just been, it's been hard. I miss the, the comfort and stability of normal life and I'm sure you guys do too. You know, even though some of us are extremely fortunate in this situation, it's still difficult. It's like a life-changing thing. I'm going to take a little bit of time this morning to kind of just like get in a happier place because I don't really like putting out less than happy content on my main channel. I don't mind being honest with you guys here. I do want my main channel to almost be like an escape for you guys. So I'm gonna wait until I'm feeling a little bit more, I don't know, normal. <laughs> and then I'll start filming my organization video. I have no idea how long that's gonna take me. Like, I have so many nail polishes now, so that might take me all day or multiple days. Who knows? Let's find out. Actually, by the time this video goes up, that may already go up, so if it is, I'll, I'll put it in the cards for you guys. I'm gonna read for a little bit, I think, and that'll, that'll help me out. I'm almost done with this book, and I haven't finished any book 
since the beginning of April and um, I usually read a little bit faster than this but it's a very long book so hopefully I will finish it today and then get on with my life. <laughs> Okay, makeup is on, and now I just have to figure out the logistics of how I'm going to film this. So it's been a couple of hours, and so far I have done four out of 22 drawers of nail polish. This is going to take literally forever. I feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew. This is, I mean, I knew it was gonna take a long time. I just wasn't anticipating that it would take this long. Yeah, well, at least once it's done, it's done, and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. So that's the good news, but oh man all right so after several hours i'm finally done with organizing my polish drawers it took a really long time but it was honestly worth it just because it's something that's been like looming over my head for a really long time but i am sweating profusely i have to move my desk back to where i am sitting right now because that's usually where my desk is and then probably just going to answer comments for a little while and then i'm probably gonna read for the rest of the day because it's already late afternoon <laughs> i literally spent all day doing this but i did find out in case anybody's wondering i found out that my produce delivery is not coming today there's been a delay obviously with everything going on there's delays on all sorts of deliveries especially grocery deliveries so a little sad but i'm I'm gonna be just fine. I did have some canned chicken soup for lunch today, so I might need a snack because it wasn't particularly filling, but we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. Anyway, let me move my stuff back and take off these big false lashes. Ah, hey guys. Okay, so I just finished a book and I thought I would tell you guys because a lot of you guys seem interested in the books that I read. <laughs> it was the last book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. It's called Kingdom of Ash. It was good. It was extremely long though. <laughs> I, I ended up giving it three stars on Goodreads and uh, <laughs> I don't want to say why because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I do enjoy her books and I enjoy her series. They're like very, I don't know, they're good but they're they're there's a lot of romance in there, so if you're not into that, I wouldn't recommend. But they are enjoyable. I am looking forward to reading the first book in her new series, but I already have my next book to read, which is The Cruel Prince. I don't remember who that's by, I'm trying to read it. Oh, Holly Black. It's by Holly Black. I actually, it's funny, I actually started reading it, like I read the first chapter years ago. It must have been when it first came out, and I was like, nope, this book is dumb, and I stopped reading it. But now it's so hyped up, and everybody's really obsessed with it. So I borrowed it from the library before all this stuff happened, and I also borrowed the sequel just in case I liked it. And then recently on my phone, I put a hold for the third book, which I believe is the final book in the trilogy, on like the library app that I use. So that's gonna be the next series that I read and hopefully I'll like it a little bit better this time around if only because now I'm more into YA fantasy so we'll see but anyway um, we're making dinner now or dinner is making itself right now so let me show you guys so I need some little potato wedge fries in our air fryer which is also our toaster oven very dirty I know and then we have some frozen pot stickers that are being made right now so yeah Anyway, I thought I would just tell you guys since I'm so good at vlogging now. I did also spend a lot of time answering comments, but I haven't answered all of my comments yet, so I'm not caught up. I liked, I love the feeling when I get caught up, which is rare, but I try to do it as often as possible. But yeah, I'll probably catch up tomorrow, I think. Ooh, there's my timer. All right, I'll see you guys later. It is not ready yet, so <laughs> while I have two minutes until that's done, I will show you guys the mail that I got, which was actually from a few days ago, but we just leave the packages at the door and then wait a couple days for them to be out. And we just leave them at the door for a couple days and then wait for them to be good but anyway I got some lashes which look really beautiful from Salon Perfect. Pretty excited about these. Ooh, these ones look nice. And then I got a bunch of stuff from Zoya. So I couldn't find acetone or nail polish remover available online anywhere. And obviously I can't really go to the store right now because I don't want to infect anybody. So um, <laughs> this is the only brand that I know of that is still selling and delivering nail polish remover, which happens to be actually one of my absolute favorites. This is the Zoya Remove Plus. So I got this channel refill bottle and then I also got their little pumper cap whatever thing and then I also got some of the Z brushes because I was kind of thinking about maybe starting to use the Z brush all the time instead of their regular brush but I'm not sure about it because I feel kind of guilty about it but anyway funny thing about this oh there's my timer 
Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to tell you guys really quickly. This is the box that the Zoya Remove Plus pump top comes in. And originally I was going to buy this off of Amazon, even though I don't know why I would do that instead of the Zoya website. I just figured Zoya wasn't shipping, but they are. But yeah, I went on there and I saw the most helpful review, like the top rated review was somebody posted a picture and was like, it came in this box, which is clearly a scam and a ripoff. So I threw out the whole thing and I was just like, oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that is such a waste. I felt bad for the woman. I mean, there's no way to reply to Amazon reviews, but I can't believe that she threw out a perfectly good bottle of Remove Plus because this is the box that it comes in directly from the manufacturer. So don't think that's a scam if you guys see that. So anyway, glad I got some remover stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go eat now. Hey guys, it is almost bedtime, but I thought I would start this book tonight and I just wanted to let you guys know that I instantly remembered why I stopped reading this book when I read it years ago. One is, this is in the first five pages, so this is not a spoiler. Some man just randomly comes into a family's house and kills this girl's dad. And the mom just said, you, you monster, he's dead. Which is a really dumb reaction. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. That is not the way a normal person will react. So I feel like that is just like, oh no, he has been murdered, which is really dumb. And then this part right here. This is where I stopped reading the first time because it says Jude and her sisters wept the whole way to fairyland. That is the name of the land in this book. Ah, okay, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it another shot. We're going to see if it gets any better than that. But I have to admit naming whatever fantasy world, like if it's a, if it's like a, a world of unicorns, like calling it unicorn world, not very creative and it does not impress me. So this book's already dropped like three stars. Hopefully it will regain them before the end. The rest of this book better be very interesting. Hello guys. Happy Sunday. I haven't caught up with you in a little bit. I didn't at all yesterday because I was actually not feeling well at all so I just spent the whole day just laying down moping <laughs> but uh, I'm feeling better today so I thought I would go ahead and continue the vlog yeah I'm, I'm just getting ready to upload a video now just gonna you know continue doing <laughs> the same thing I've been doing but I thought I would update you guys on the book that I'm reading so yesterday I ended up reading most of this book so I just have a little bit left. As I had anticipated, it's not the best book. And I think a huge part of that is that it's actually just for a way younger audience than me. And I think that's the toughest thing about young adult. Like I love young adult fiction. I think that's my favorite genre. But the problem is there's such a huge variance in young adult fiction. Like I know there's such thing as new adult, but I feel like that's not really a term that's widely enough used for it to be a separate type of genre. So, I mean, the last young adult book I read had like 10, very graphic romance scenes in it. And then now I'm on this also young adult book that has like a 16 year old girl being bullied in school. So it's like, there's just a huge variance. Like I feel like it's hard to know what books in the young adult section, like these books are, were next to each other in the library in the young adult section. Like it's hard to know if a book is young adult, but it's for young teenagers or if it's young adult, but somebody who is much older could relate to it. Like I can definitely understand, like even if it's younger characters for the most part it's usually not an issue for me it's just like there's a lot of things that I I'm 28 years old so there's a lot of stuff that I like can no longer really relate to like being made fun of in school by the popular girl like that's so far past where my life is right now that it just doesn't really it, it's just not something I can enjoy in a book anymore so yeah I mean I kind of wish that I had read this book when I was younger because I probably would have appreciated it more I found out that this book actually came out in 2018 so probably still would have been too old when that came out anyway but yeah it's just a little young for me and I feel like a lot of the things I'm just like shaking my head in frustration because I'm like you're just being young and dumb right now <laughs> I know it's mean to say but like I feel like a lot of young adult books like the problem is so obvious and the solution is so obvious and oh uh, it just makes me mad so <laughs> hopefully I mean I'm, I'm still gonna finish the book and I'm actually still gonna finish the trilogy because I do find it to be an interesting story and I think it's an interesting world but yeah I mean that's like the biggest thing I struggle with and I always thought I don't know finding like booktube and finding youtubers that recommend books like i thought it would maybe be easier to find the type of new adult books that i tend to enjoy more but like i feel like booktubers will sometimes just recommend a middle grade book and you have no idea until you pick it up and you're like why is this size 16 font so i don't know it's just hard it's hard to find and like i try my best to like sift through goodreads and find books that sound like they are like possible for an older audience to enjoy but it's just 
sometimes it's tough. But anyway, other updates. I did freshen my hair color, but I feel like I, I didn't really use the deep conditioner that I usually use. I used like the daily conditioner that you just put on in the shower. And because I wasn't looking in the mirror, I just feel like I did not do a great job. It's very patchy. And also this hand got very stained. I don't know if you can even see it, but my fingers especially got very stained. I did end up wearing gloves, but it doesn't matter. This color is like the most stained I've ever had my hands and nails and body. I'm really, I love this color, but I'm really looking forward to the next one. So maybe next weekend I'll move on to the next color, but I feel like purple is a big stainer too. So I don't know what's gonna happen. But yeah, so that's been my day so far. I'm about to have lunch and then we're probably gonna do a Zoom call with my boyfriend's family, which is why I'm looking relatively nice. <laughs> but I'm still wearing pajama pants, don't worry. Sorry, okay, so I just started reading and I wanted to clarify a few quick points for you guys on my rant that I just made about books and young adult and the huge variance in that. But I wanted to just really quickly say I don't find the romance part to be like the defining factor of a book I like or the book I don't like. In fact, I feel like I don't really, I don't like romance books at all and I do not like reading any sort of scenes like that. Like that's not my favorite at all. Like authors like Sarah J Maas, who's actually, I really like her stuff, but I feel like she goes way overboard with it. But despite that, I still do like her stuff just because it's more of like the themes that are in it that are important. Like if I feel like if the main thing about your story is like school and bullies and like a boy, a popular boy liking you and stuff, like I feel like that's a little too young for me. But if it's like a story and I feel like the prince, what is it? Cruel prince? <laughs> is getting to be a little bit more, less of that kind of theme <laughs> and more of like a little bit more of a adultier themes. But yeah, if it's, if it's more about like the world and life and not school and petty drama, then I feel like I'm more likely to like it. So I just wanted to clarify that. So you guys aren't like, why are you reading young adult when you should be reading romance? Cause I actually don't like that at all. I'm just saying it's like crazy how a kid can go into a section of the library that says young adult and find one book that's like basically like erotica. And then also find one book that's like a teenager being like in school and stuff. So it's just, it's just crazy how you can like find all of that in the same section. Like, I feel like that's not great. <laughs> So I just got a package in the mail from Urban Decay, which in itself is insane just because that's like the first brand that I ever bought of makeup. They have a new Moon Dust collection, which is funny because I do have the original Moon Dust palette and I don't really use it too much, but it looks like I don't actually know what this stuff is. So we have a glitter liquid face and body illuminizer. We have a an eye pencil, which I actually use their eye pencils all the time. We have a lip color, which I have a feeling is this color, which is like the standard color that I use. And then we have a single eyeshadow, which looks to be a sort of duochrome grayish kind of color. Yeah, so I'm excited about that stuff, but I'm a little disappointed because I had ordered a produce box and it said it was coming on Friday. And then on Friday, it said it was coming on Saturday. And then on Saturday, it said it was coming on Sunday. And now it's saying it's not coming until next Friday, which I'm really sad about because we are totally out of fresh produce. And I was really relying on that. And they're really, I mean, I understand it's just a crazy time and there's a lot of delays and stuff, but I would rather them say from the start, like, okay, you're not gonna get this for three weeks than for them to say, okay, you're getting it tomorrow. No, actually, you get it the next day. Actually, you know what? You will get it tomorrow. Don't worry, you're definitely getting it tomorrow. And then say like, oh, actually next week. Like, I feel like at this point, I shouldn't even expect it for a while. I just wish they would say like, at least say like, even if they couldn't give me a specific timeline, just say, we're processing it. We're on huge delays right now. We'll tell you when. Like, don't keep getting my hopes up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so that's kind of annoying, but whatever. And I still haven't put my posters on this wall. I don't know why I'm procrastinating that so hard. Maybe I'll do it next week. I'm also really behind on answering comments right now on YouTube, so I'm probably gonna spend the majority of my day doing that just because I really need to catch up and I wanna finish that book. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have planned for today. <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay, it is now Sunday night. I finished that book a little while ago, actually, and I ended up giving it three stars on Goodread. Can you guys even see me? Do I look like just a floating head in the middle of nowhere? This office is actually really not well lit. I just have one tiny little lamp in the corner. Actually, I have another lamp over here. Maybe I'll turn it on. Okay. Is that better? I don't know. I always feel like I look weird in turtlenecks. Like I'm just a floating head. But anyway, yeah, that book, I just, 
I didn't love it. I'm still gonna read the sequel because I have it. We'll see if it gets any better. I do think it ended a little bit more interestingly than it started, but I just feel like, I don't know, the character, the main character was like a pretty weak person, even though I feel like the author was trying to convince us that she is like really strong. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of it. But we'll see if it gets any better. I don't know. And again, like I said, it's just a little young for me. Anyway, I figured I would just end the vlog here because why not? <laughs> I did enjoy spending the week with you guys though. I thought that was kind of fun to just kind of chronicle my life right now, especially with everything going on. It just feels like, I don't know, it gave me a little bit more purpose. So if you guys want more of these vlogs just while we're in lockdown, let me know because I can do that. And um, I do still want to put my posters up, which I still haven't done. And I want to show you guys the produce delivery because I'm still excited about that, even though it's been delayed so many times. And I don't know, we can talk about the food that we're making and stuff. I actually did make a good dinner tonight. We made, well, it was spaghetti and peas, <laughs> but I did make this like vegan cheese sauce that you make out of carrots and potatoes and it ended up being really good. I make it all the time but I don't really follow a recipe. I just kind of throw the ingredients in and it tastes different every time but tonight it tasted particularly delicious. But yeah anyway so I am gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if there's anything in particular you want to see just let me know in the comments. I am still planning on doing a little tour of the apartment because I know I've been meaning to show you guys that since Ryan moved in <laughs> and I still haven't done that. And I was kind of just like waiting for everything to be perfect, but I feel like it's just never gonna end up being like totally perfect because I mean, you're always adding stuff to your place and making it better and stuff. So I may as well just show you guys. So I am gonna eventually do that, but at least let me hang up my posters first so I can have my little poster area. But yeah, so that's it. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So I'll see you later. Bye.